Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to solve this interesting factorial problem. So 10 factorial over 6 factorial equal to x factorial. Let's solve this, let's solve this interesting question. So first of all I want to write a main common mistake right here. A lot of students solve it like that. They, they say that right here we can cancel this so it looks like 5 over 3 and then x equal to 5 over 3 so they can cancel this 10 and this 6 which is absolutely incorrect because this is like a huge number 10 factorial yeah and 6 factorial this is huge number as well so we cannot factor we, we need to work with factorials not with, with 10 and 6 as a part yeah so with factorials. How can you solve this interesting question? So first of all we all know that 10 factorial this is a product yeah we all know this from school so this is a product from like 10 times 9 I write this product right here real quick because we need it yeah 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 6 right here multiplication 5 4 3 2 and 1 so this is our numerator and of course 6 factorial we all know this is our denominator yeah so we have like 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 and times 6 and of course on the right hand side equal to x x factorial yeah so i just read this question without factorials yeah only right here we have factorial but doesn't matter right here we have expression with numbers so this is really good and right now if we look closely this is a product so we can easily cancel these numbers from our numerator and from denominator because we don't have addition and subtraction only multiplication division so we can easily cancel okay one and one we can cancel we have two we have three we have two we have three right here what about four five six yeah we have this four five six right here so as you can see right now we have this expression so ten times nine times eight times 7 equal to x factorial. So we have only this expression right here, yeah, from our numerator. Okay, what about factorial? I, for, sure, uh, for me, I, I don't know about this number. What is this factorial? So let's try to express this number in another way. So we all know that, two equal, uh, that 10 equal to uh, 2 times 5, yep. Yeah? So let's, let's start uh, step by step. Let's start uh, to express this 10. So 10 equal to 1 times 2 times 5. Okay, let's go to 9. What about 9? 9 equal to 3 times 3, so times 3 times 3. What about 8? How can we rewrite it? Of course, as 2 times 2 times 2, so 4 times 2, 8, and times 7, because this is a prime number, so we can write it in, an, we cannot write it in another way. So this is our 10, uh, this is our 9, this is our 8, right here, I write it as, as, as in this way, and this is our 7, yeah? As, as right here. So we just express this in another way. And let's try to create an order, like an order of natural numbers. So we need to find a factorial, this, a factorial to this question. So let's try to create this factorial step by step. So let's start with 1. Yeah, we have 1 right here, so I cancel this, so we have 1. What about 2? So times, what about 2 right here? Yeah, let's use this 2 right here, so cancel this and times 2. What about 3? Yeah, we have 3, so cancel from here, times 3. What about 4? Yeah, we don't have 4, but if you multiply 2 times 2, we will have 4. So times 4, and from here I cancel these both 2. Okay, what about 5? Yeah, we have this 5, so times 5, cancel from here. Times 6, have we 6 right here? Yes, 3 times 2 equal to 6, so cancel from here, and this is bingo, this is times 6, and 7 we have, times 7, equal to x factorial, and as you can see, this is our 7 factorial because this is a product from 1 to 7. So 7 factorial equal to x factorial. And from here our x equal to 7 which is our answer. Without factorials this is like a, our natural number right here. So this is this is our answer. Of course as you can see before we this is not like an answer 5 over 3 if we cancel. This is not like a, our answer if we're talking about uh, cancel right here this uh, by 2 dividing by 2. As you can see completely different different answer which is which is really great 7 factorial yeah so this is our answer i write it right here real quick so our answer x x equal to 7 i hope you understand this explanation this is really interesting factorial problem and i hope you enjoyed this explanation definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong okay now if you need to learn basic math interesting brain test you can easily subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure thank you for your time and have a great day